Aloha everyone! I'm Gabby and I'm Georgie and we are the mummies of Sisterhood Furniture and content creators for Dixie Bell Paint. In this tutorial we will be working on this lovely chair and transforming it into a rustic and very elegant piece. All with the help of silk mineral paint, metallic paint, also a new stencil and some golden wax. Why as not? usual. <laughs> we will be doing a little blending with these two gorgeous shades of silk paint. So let's get into it! Let's do it! Let's do it! I started by cleaning the chair with Pristine Clean, which is a furniture cleaner that you can use prior to painting with silk paint. I rinsed two times only with water to get rid of any leftover solution or any dirt. We let it dry overnight, then we started to paint with this delicious color called Mirage. We use synthetic brushes from Dixie Bell for a nice smooth finish and they are also so great for blending as we will do a little blending. We double checked these wooden bars so the paint won't drip anywhere. We will add this lovely shade of blue called Cape Current and we applied it on the legs bottom and then slightly blended them but you don't need to blend them too much now as is the first coat. We left the first coat to dry for about two hours and we were ready for the second coat. We dumped the brushes and we made sure uh, to pick up a small amount of paint to avoid brush strokes and then we enjoyed the painting with this stunning color which also gives us such a good mood. Now adding the blue on the leg bottom and we introduce another brush, a clean one this time, to blend the colors. We applied the blue and then with the new brush we just used up and down and side motions until we were happy with the blending. You can also add more water anytime you feel the paint gets dry and it will reactivate it. After the paint has dried, we applied black wax all over the piece with Le Petit brush. The wax will make it look so interesting and moody.
We left the wax to set for about 15-20 minutes, then we wiped the excess with a piece of cloth. We let it cure for 7 days before seal it with gator hide. After waxing, we applied the new stencils from Bells and Whistles called Enhanced Garden and we used this lovely design. We also used the Moonshine Metallic Paint in Gold Digger and the sponge and we just made sure to pick up a small amount of paint so we don't make a mess underneath the stencils. The stencils wasn't wide enough so we had to move it around and match somehow the leaves. That's not all. We thought to distress the chair in some places such legs, edges. It just looks so interesting, a bit distressed in places and chipped off. After 7 days we finally sealed it with 3 layers of gator height and we let it dry for about 3 hours in between the layers. Then we decided to apply golden wax on the edges and details and it was the best choice, we loving it. We applied it with a finger, brush, how you want, both are great tools. And that's it! This is the final result! Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, learned something new or it just get you inspired in any way. And if you did so, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more furniture makeovers! See you next time! Bye!